Hey guys, I'm going to talk about swarms in this lecture. A swarm is a group of machines running with Docker in a cluster. I initialized swarm before deploying service in the previous video. I did that because our service was supposed to run on multiple containers. And when we have to work on multiple containers in a cluster, we always have to initialize swarm first. Now let's talk about swarm in detail. One node in swarm is called swarm manager. And it is the only machine which authorizes other machines to join the swarm. So I will also explain how to set up a swarm manager. Next I will create a new virtual machine with docker installed and join that machine with the swarm. That machine will be called as a swarm worker. I will also explain about deploying the application on swarm. That is something we already did in the services lecture but at that time we didn't cover swarms and we did not see how the backend process work. So let's get back to my machine and do some real stuff. Okay, so this is my machine and I'm going to make it as a swarm manager. Simply execute the command docker swarm init. What it does, it will initialize the swarm and make this machine as swarm manager. Copy the token value that you see in the output. Just to check the status, execute the command docker node ls and see the status of swarm. The most important thing to note here is the column by name manager status as you see it on the extreme right. Under this column, you will see the value called leader, which means this particular server is a swarm manager. Now our next step is to join another machine in the swarm. So let me open up a new machine here. I already set up another virtual machine with Docker installed. So this is my brand new machine with the Docker setup already done. Now how you can join this new VM as a swarm manager? You remember I copied the token value after my swarm was initialized. Now on this machine, I'm going to run the command docker swarm join hyphen hyphen token and then paste the token value that I copied and hit enter. You'll get a message that this node joined swarm as a worker. It means this machine has been successfully joined as a worker. Now go back to the swarm manager. Now let's execute the command docker node ls once again. Now you can see a second entry which is appeared there and this entry is the new VM which we just joined with the swarm as a swarm worker. With all that setup done, let's deploy our application on this swarm. So I'm going to use the same docker-compose.yaml file which I used to deploy its services. Just open this file once again and make sure it looks good and the value of the replicas is set to 3. Now when I set the values of replicas to 3, it means 3 containers will be launched. Now simply type the command docker stack deploy hyphen c deploy hyphen compose dot yaml so that's the file name and then name of your service which is called web in this case and that's all. So what happened here actually? Now your service has been deployed on all the servers which are included in your swarm. Right now I have swarm manager and a worker. So right now I have two servers. One is the swarm manager, the other is the worker. As for the definition of my YAML file, three containers will be launched. Now how those containers are going to be launched? On which particular machine? Well. Docker distributes the deployment to all the machines which are part of Swarm. So that is a very very helpful feature in the Docker. To verify it, run the command docker stack ps. ps means the processes and the service name which is called web in this case. Hit enter. What you see in the output here, there are three process IDs which are running right now. And you can also see Two processes are deployed on the machine which is joined as a worker and the one process ID is running on the swarm manager itself. Now it actually translates to number of containers. One process means one container. If two processes are running on my machine which is actually a worker, it means two containers will be running on that particular machine. If one process is running on my swarm manager, it means one container must be running on the swarm manager. So let's check how many containers are actually running on both servers. 
On the swarm manager, run the command docker container ls -q. We have seen this command earlier as well. It will list out all the container IDs running on this particular server. You can see only one container running on swarm manager because one process is actually running on this particular machine as per the output of uh, docker stack ps command. Now similarly, go to my other machine and run the command docker container ls -q. Here is the output. Now you can see two containers are running on this machine. Why so? Because two processes were actually initialized or running on this particular machine as per the output of docker stack ps command. It confirms that number of processes that are running as, as part of the services which got deployed, the same number of containers must be running on that particular machine. Lastly, you can destroy the swarm and the stack as I explained in my previous video. So it's pretty easy and interesting to deploy distributor containers with your application. So that's all for swarms now. Hope you have got good understanding about the concept. Please feel free to post your questions if you have any. That's all for now. Stay tuned for next lecture.